Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have Affinity Designer for you guys. This is not a free software, it's actually $50. And uh, I'll have a link for it down in the description below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just so that you guys can find it much easier. Um, I bought it for $25 around March last year. Actually March this year, 2020. And Affinity Photo was also that price and I'd regret not buying it at that time. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into here into this. It's a $50 program, but it does a lot of things. And I bet you'll be able to make some amazing thumbnails with this software. This is actually my second time recording this. I forgot to turn my microphone on the first time. I see it moving now, so I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna start out with a new document here. And for YouTube, it doesn't really matter. Um, I use a 720p for my thumbnails. You'll see all the stats over here change. You can create artboards, so you can work on multiple things in the same thing, but that's a little more advanced right now. We're just gonna work on one thing right now. So I'm gonna click Create. Now once you get to this page, you can press Control and scroll out and in to resize your project. Now with this project today, it's gonna to be pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to take a thumbnail that I have already created and I'm gonna to try to recreate it as best I can. All right, so I'm pulling this little uh, screenshot out of my, one of my previous videos that I've created. And what I wanna do is I wanna get my, my photo out of here. You know how I like to make a little glowing photo of myself? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle tool right here. I'm gonna roughly put it over my face. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, over here, I'm gonna right click and mask to blow. As you can see, I got some of my camera border here, so you can still grab this right now and pull it. Let's see here, I'm gonna make these not as rounded. And yeah, that's a that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna press V for the move tool, click off of it. And now you can rescale the photo itself as much as you want. You can flip it over. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. We're gonna come back to this photo here in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull another copy of it. It's the same exact copy. And I'm gonna resize it to where you don't see any of this stuff down here at the bottom. It's kind of zoomed in. Now, when you see a lot of my my videos, uh, thumbnails, you don't see any of these kill counters or stuff. So how I do that is I'll take one of the rectangle tools, come over here, and I'll cover up the kill number. Now, to get the exact same black as it's down here, I think it's straight black, but you're going to grab the little dropper. Let's grab it here again. See this little dropper here? I'm going to grab it, I'm going to pull it, and we're just going to go with the black. And then we're going to click the color that's beside it to fill in the box. Now, every box that you create after that, should be the same color. Let's take that little microphone off of him too. And even if you want to take the times, you take all the times off. All right, so now you got all these over here. If I press V again, and I try to move the picture, it only moves the picture, it doesn't move the little black boxes. So Control Z. Get it back into place. And this box right here is actually a little off, so I'm gonna raise it a bit. All right, so I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click the top box. I'm gonna press Shift, I'm gonna come all the way down to the thumbnail. We're gonna control G on it. Now, when I move the whole thing, all the black boxes move together and stay in the same position. Now we need to add some more boxes because I like to take number one and a couple, of, sometimes I even like taking this big old banner out here. You take the big old banner out, you can just do that, make a big old black box up here, and group it together. But, I'm gonna control Z on this. All I wanna do is take out number one and number 13. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop a box like this. We're gonna take the dropper tool, and we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get one of these colors that are like really close and we're gonna change it to that color. And we're gonna drag and drop box over here. It's a different color. We're gonna take the eyedropper again. 
Make it the same color. So now that when you move out, you can't really tell what is there. So I'm gonna grab this one. We're gonna shift all the way down to the group. We're gonna control G it again so that everything besides my thumbnail and myself is all in the same group of pictures. All right, I found the center. Now I'm gonna grab the whole group and I'm gonna pull it below my thumbnail. Let's control Z. Now I grab my thumbnail. I wanna do a few things to this. I like using uh, the layer effects. So we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click the layer effects button. I like running a white outline around the border. Now you can see the border's changing, but it's black. And that's because your color's down here. So I'm gonna come over here, let's change it to white. I don't want that thick of a border. Just want a little one. And if you prefer, you can change the opacity down too, so it's a little bit transparent. I'm, I'm happy with this. We're gonna go and add an outer glow. It's gonna be a white outer glow. Just a little bit of one, and then an inner glow. I'm gonna resize this a little bit bigger. And now to tilt it, we're gonna grab this little white, the little white node up here, and tilt it just a little bit. Bring it down to where you want it, and let it sit there. Now, to make an Apex logo. Now, I have an Apex logo that is black, okay? So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna go File, New, and we're gonna make a 1920 by 1080. We're gonna create. Now, as you can see, I've made two tabs up here at the top. So basically, I'm starting a new project. I'm gonna bring in the Apex logo, as you can see, it's black. I wanna make this Apex logo white. And I'm gonna provide this black one for you guys. And you guys can make it white. So this is how you do it. I'm gonna control and go out a little bit. I'm gonna take the, a box and I'm gonna cover the whole thing. I'm gonna pull the Apex logo to the top of the box. Right click on the Apex logo. And we will unmask to below. Now we have an off-white Apex logo. If you want a white, white one, you can just pull all the way up. Now we have a white, white one over here. When you export this one, we're gonna go to File, Export. We're gonna export as a PNG so it has a transparent background. Click Export, choose the location you want it to go to, and then let's go back to the other file. All right, so once you got that, uh, once you got that Apex logo white, we're gonna drag it into our other project, resize it, and I like to add, since we're on the Christmas bash right now, and that's what this match was, was a Christmas bash. I'm gonna go outline and I'm gonna make it red. And we're gonna give it a little bit of an outline. Then we're gonna go to the 3D effect and pull the 3D on it. You can make the 3D effect as much as, as intense as you want. I think it was pretty good where it was at. It has an extra layer of 3D, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on this one. Resize it, give it a little bit of a angle. So now we're gonna create a, a live logo. And on here on this Apex one, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And we're gonna go ahead and use this 1920 by 1080 that we've already created. Now, now to create this live logo, we're gonna need text. And I'm gonna use all caps. Make sure this is highlighted. And up here where it says Arial, you can change the font to whatever you want. For me, I like Impact and I like Unispace. So for this Unispace, I'm gonna make this text white. Up here, you're gonna switch, swap it. So now you got a white outline when you swap it with a blank interior. To show this a little bit better, let's get a black background. And this is white. I just created a box. Let's go down to black. Let's pull it below it. There you go. Go back to the move tool and select your text. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and select the artistic tool. And we're gonna select the text itself. Highlight it. And when you highlight it, it's gonna change the inner color to whatever you want. And I want the inner color YouTube red, which is 255, zero, and zero. Make it a little bit bigger. 
we're going to change the stroke to where it's got a little bit bigger of a white outline to it. Come back over here to the move tool. Eyeball and center it up. And there we go. Now we have live. Over here, you can see a lot of icons that you probably recognize. Twitter, uh, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, YouTube's up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this YouTube icon. And I got quite a lot more. I'm going to select live. I'm going to come back over here to color so I can see how tall this is. This live is 378 pixels tall. Now, let's go back to here. Let me zoom in here. As you see how small this thing is. If you grab one side, it doesn't scale evenly. So let's control Z on that. And like I said, this is three, this is about 375 height. So let's go 370 for the height. Oops. This is about 375 for the height. Now before you do that, you want to make sure you lock in the width and the height so that they scale appropriately. So I'm gonna put 370 on this. Once you do, it scales just fine. And even. Now, like I said, YouTube is 255, 0, and 0. I don't want just nothing to be here in, in the middle. I actually want a white block. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab that. It's on top of the YouTube logo. Let's pull it below it. And let's make it white. So I, grab, I just grabbed here and made it white. Let's select the YouTube logo again. We're going to go down to FX. I want this 3D effect on it. And then I'm going to come here to the radius and I'm going to increase the radius until we get the shadows that I like. Now with the layer effects still open, let's click, press V on your keyboard to make sure you're in the move tool. I'm going to click live. We're going to click 3D on the live also. and We're going to increase it so that it's all popping together. Now in here you can change outer glow, inner glow, and all that kind of stuff. If you want to make it glow, glow red you can glow a different little slightly different color red then i'm gonna click on this one outer glow we're gonna red you can match it match it to the other red color which is 160. so let's match this to 160. And give it a little bit of a radius so that it's glowing all right, now we got all this together. We can grab this little rectangle here. You can either move it out of the way, or what I'll do is I'll just click this little box here. It makes it disappear completely. We're gonna export this as a PNG, so it has a transparent background. So file, export, PNG, choose your location that it needs to go to. I'm gonna choose live three because this is the third live one that I've created. We're gonna go back to our previous page and this is our little thumbnail here i'm going to resize apex just a little bit i'm going to grab my live three and pull it in here now remember this is 1080 the live is but the thing our workspace is 720. i'm going to resize it i'm just going to drag and drop it to where to where i like on this page yeah we're going to export this file export as a jpeg because this is going to be a thumbnail on youtube i'm going to export it I'm going to put live V3 on here. And yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do. This is a $50 software. This is just the basics that you can do with it. I'm still learning it myself. So yeah, if you got any questions, don't feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer as much as I can. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, I stream live every Sunday and Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash Nick's Drive. Link for that down in the description below. With all that said, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.